All right, guys, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to start a job on the Arrows and Dynajet. Simply come over on the right hand side, turn on your Dynajet, select your tip coarseness, ultra coarse, extra coarse, very coarse, or coarse. This will all be indicative as to what nozzles you have on the back of the machine. Uh, this automatically integrates and turns on the boost so there's absolutely nothing that you have to do starting the arrows power it up right here this is a work screen that you're going to come into before you can start anything you have to hit the working man once the working man is started now you're able to go out and spray you have a couple of different options here one is you can go into your job hit home you can either select a job which has your maps that are already pre-populated or simply click new job. Do you want to automatically generate a name? Yes. Once the job populates, this is what you're going to see. This is your screen. This will tell you what your satellites are, your last pass. If you have field pilot integrated into the system, your field pilot will be illuminated allowing you to hit your uh, field pilot to drive from point A to point B uh, without using your hands on the steering wheel. Mapping options, as seen on here, we can create zones. Um, this is to create a zone map for GS, recallable mapping. This is to create a no spray zone inside your spray zone. You can go back to the home screen we can autofill tanks. We can type in exactly what we want as far as tank volume goes. We can scroll back through. If we want to do a self test, we can simulate speed by clicking on the rabbit and tortoise. And we can toggle through those speeds by simply clicking down below. And these are preset speeds that we set in. This will give you the ability to self-test the machine as far as calibrations go and also check your nozzles and make sure everything's working properly. We can also cycle through preset rates. We give you the ability to put in five preset rates. You can cycle through them that way and they'll go up in half a gallon per acres or if you have it also set up in gallons per acre, it'll cycle through that way as well. If you manually want to go out and spray, you can turn off the auto. This is only going to give you the front row of nozzles, uh, which take you back to a traditional style of spraying. Speed, pressure, nozzle to maintain rate. 